Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning, February 23rd, I want to see one verse from Numbers 32.23. Numbers 32.23 says, You have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Moses told the Israelites about their sin. They should be pure they should uh, confess their sins before they come to the presence of God. He's saying, beware, your sin will find you out. This statement is often misunderstood. It is not that their sin will be uncovered on the day of judgment and punished by God, like some of the people think, but that an evil deed will come back on the head of the evil doer. What they sow, they will reap. Moses is warning the people of Israel that they, if they do not follow the law and sin against the Lord, they'll surely be caught up. Joshua asked the people to sanctify themselves if they wanted to see miracles by God. We have to be pure in heart if our prayers are to be heard and answered. When we remember the incident about Akan, we'll understand this statement better. Because Akan took the accursed things, Lord's anger burned against the children of Israel, Joshua 7, 1. They bore the brunt of God's anger in their defeat against Ai, a small place compared to the city of Jordan. When Achan finally accepted his sin, he was stoned and burnt along with his family and properties. His sin found him out and he was punished. David knew his sin and asked God for forgiveness. This is uh, written in Psalms 51, 3. And he wanted God to wash and cleanse him thoroughly from his sin. God knows us inside out and we can't hide anything from him. And God will bring every work into judgment. Solomon says in Ecclesiastes 12, 14. Every one of us have to appear before the judgment seat and receive the things done in their body, whether good or bad. It's uh, written in uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 10. Paul understood this and clearly tells us the truth. Knowledge of a future accountability for our service is a reason good enough to seek to be well-pleasing to God. At every decision we make, we have to stop to ask God and only then should we proceed. We have to remember this. We, we can't go on sinning as we grow spiritually. Growth, growth in spirit, spirit means that we will be going away from sin. We should always try to please God, who is our Savior, who is our Redeemer, who is going to take us back to heaven with Him. So, let's pray. Lord, please help us not to sin against You and always be pleasing to, your, to You. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen.